Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining me for our Garden Time Devotions. Uh, I'm out here on my front porch just enjoying um, this nice, nice cool evening. It's very active out here tonight. So during the video, you might see, hear some cars rumbling by. Um, I, you might, you might even hear me, uh, hear hear me uh, scream a little bit <laughs> there's like a there's a toad jumping around here and I I'm not sure how I'm gonna react if it jumps on my feet or something so um, so I've just warned you okay <laughs> but to get back on track my garden reflections um, are going to be focused on a recent happening with my sunflower garden as you know, uh, we've been really busy with that garden, getting the ground ready, putting fertilizer in. Donald put the rows nice and straight for me to plant the seeds. And so, yeah, we did just that. We planted the seeds the other day and, and we were feeling pretty good about it. So the next day, when we've discovered, the next day after I planted all those seeds, we discovered that the birds have eaten up all the seeds, all of them. And, you know, I handled it pretty well, though, because I've been in this farming business for about 30 years, and things, things like this have happened before. And so the first thing I thought of, well, what can we do to replant the seeds, and, and what can we do to prevent the birds from eating them again? So we have some really good resources out this way with um, some farmer friends and they gave us some ideas what we could do and uh, so we put treatment on some seeds and treatment that was suggested and, and, and then we replanted some more sunflower seeds and we're going to try it again. And, let, and so time will tell if the, if the treatment worked so I'll keep you updated on that. But I thought about what, what spiritual application can I apply to my Christian life with what just happened here? Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is the countless second chances that we have with God. There's a praise song that we sing at my church called Countless Second Chances We've Been Given at the Cross. And we can think about ourselves as being a garden and how Sometimes we get out of God's will, and, and sometimes you know, we, we let sin in our lives, and, and God, the master gardener, is, it loves us, and, and he's always putting things in our lives and working in us, to, to, and in our circumstances, to help draw us closer to him, draw us back to him. And so that's the thing I thought of but when I was thinking about how I'm not giving up on this garden. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do what I can to, to, to make something out of that garden. And I think that's how God is with us. He's, he doesn't give up on us. Uh, the Bible says in Philippians 1, 6, Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. So God has a plan for our lives, and, and he's going to keep uh, working his will in us and, and drawing us close to him and ultimately to help us to be more like his son, Jesus. And he's not going to give up on us. And, and that's such a, a wonderful, wonderful truth in the Bible. And another verse that came to my mind was 1 John 1.9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And that's a wonderful promise of God that when we do mess up, when we do allow sin in our lives, that, we're, that we still can, that God gives us the, um, the um, choice to ask him to forgive us and to repent of our sins and that's all through the blood of Jesus right in Ephesians 2 13 it states but now in Christ Jesus ye who were sometimes far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ 
So because of what Jesus has done for us on the cross and, and, be, and, and paying the price for our sins and, and being, li being our living Savior, we can be drawn closer to God. And that's just such a wonderful uh, truth in God's Word and so encouraging that in this life, as we go through like our Christian journey, that that God is 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 ever working in us to draw us closer to Him and to make something beautiful out of our out of our lives that will count for God. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes three eleven, He hath made everything beautiful in His time. Also Lamentations three twenty two and twenty three. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So every, every morning we have a fresh start. Every morning God gives us another chance to live for him, to, to do right, to make a difference in this world and mostly to, um, to be a light for Jesus every morning. And that's, that's such an encouragement to me. Now, me as an imperfect person, imperfect gardener, I might give up on my garden. I might say, okay, I've had enough. I, I keep trying to replant these sunflower seeds and something keeps happening. And I'm just going to give up. But you know... God never gives up. God never gives up on us. God, it, this says, the verse here says that his compassions fail not. And he loves us. And he'll always be working in our lives to make, make us, um, like I said, to make us more like son Jesus. So that that's such an encouragement to me as we, go through our Christian journey, our Christian walk with God, that he's never going to give up on us, um, and that he's, he's ever working in our lives, and that he never, um, never sleeps. The Bible says that, that he neither slumbers nor sleeps. He, even when we're asleep, we are sleeping, God is still watching over us watching his garden and, 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 and considering and thinking about ways to um, draw us closer to him. And what a special, special thing that we as Christians had that we can draw nigh to God. And there's a verse in the Bible that says, um, if we draw nigh to God, he will draw nigh to us. And uh, that's just a beautiful verse as well to, to keep in mind. All right, well, those are my thoughts for uh, today about my garden and how it applies to our Christian walk with God. All right, well, I hope you all have a, a nice evening, and, and I hope to see you next time. All right, well, you all, you all have a good day, and uh, you all be blessed. All right, bye.